Here is my October 2020 manifestation results. In this business monthly manifestation results report, I share my income report, evidence log, goals update, milestones met and mindset breakthroughs. I am starting a brand new series to start sharing a report on my monthly manifestation results with you. In this report, I am going to share my evidence log of what has been manifesting that month, including everything I manifested or achieved the last month, an income report, an update on the 3G goals that I set for that month and whether or not I achieved them, my deepest feelings about how the month went, analyze what worked, what didn't work and what needs to be improved, answer the question how can I be more productive and reflect on whether or not I stuck to my commitments. Today I am hoping that you will be motivated to work on your own goals, be interested in starting your own monthly manifestation report and see how to work through mindset issues and improve your belief system. Please note that my aim is for you to use my results as a manifestation model to show you how to take inspired action to manifest your own desires and you can apply what I'm about to share with you to inspire yourself to complete any of your own passion projects. It is my sole aim to share my reports and stories in the hope that it encourages you to think bigger about what you can achieve in your own business. However, I recognize that when we hear stories of other people's success, on one hand it can be truly motivating, but on the other hand it can also bring up feelings of disbelief in our minds. As I share my own report, I want you to notice if you are thinking any negative thoughts about yourself such as, I could never do that or that only worked for her because of such and such a reason and it could never work for me. I call these negative feelings disbelief because you don't believe in your own success when you're having these thoughts. And I have a whole section on how to reject disbelief in my book, Stamp Goals. This is part of the process of achieving the goals that you have set for yourself. My name is Kath Kyle and I am the author of Stamp Goals book and I'm so happy that you're here. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. As I'm going through this report, I would love to know what you liked about it or how it could be improved in the future. So let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or send me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. So why am I sharing my goals and income reports with the world? So here are all of the reasons I'm sharing my monthly manifestation report with you, even though committing to sharing my income every month does scare me quite a lot, I have to admit. Number one, I want to motivate you to manifest your own success, work on your own business goals and enjoy the process. Number two, I want to hold myself accountable to working on my business goals each month. Number three, I want to encourage you to start a monthly manifestation report of your own so you can hold yourself accountable to your own success. Number four, I want to be completely honest with you and show you that things aren't always perfect and I don't always hit all of my goals. My mindset isn't always positive, but I am optimistic that my results will keep on improving and in time you'll see that commitment and self-belief are some of the biggest determining factors in business success. And number five, I want to share my mindset and belief system with you and how I work through my disappointments when I don't achieve my own goals. So you get an example of how to work through all challenges and avoid giving up altogether. So here is my report for October 2020. The first section is the success evidence log. The success evidence log involves making a list of any achievements to celebrate. 
there are three categories of the success evidence log. Number one, manifestation milestones met, which are things that happened that you don't have control over that you can be grateful for, such as revenue earned and followers and subscribers gained. Number two, tons done and success rituals achieved. This is a list of everything that you did to move your business forward this month. Tons done are single one-off tasks. Tons stand for today's one next step. And success rituals are things that you repeat over and over. Number three, mindset breakthroughs. What improvements did you make in terms of your own belief system and what did you discover and learn this month? So here are my manifestation milestones met. I was so excited this month because I got my very first sale for Kath Kyle products. And I also got my second sale for Kath Kyle products. I also got 10, my very first 10 podcast downloads without even mentioning the podcast launch to anyone. I got my first 10,000 views on a TikTok video and I got also got 5,000 views on another TikTok video. My TikTok followers increased from 147 to 473. I received a good handful of testimonials and one major success story already for my course Dream Business Blueprint. My Pinterest followers increased from 338 to 384. My email list grew from 231 people to 308. My website traffic increased from 5,720 to 8,255 page views this month. My total audience size increased from 4,438 to 6,400 13. My total audience size is all of my followers on social media, all of my email list and all of the visitors that month to my website. So let's move on to the second section, which is tons done and success rituals. So these are the things that I completed or achieved this month. I added a free course lesson as an opt-in freebie for my course Dream Business Blueprint. I created a new Manifest Business Success Challenge, which is a, another opt-in freebie. I started my brand new success rituals, which were to create two content pieces per week. And so therefore I was creating content pieces for the following month and I created four videos, four podcasts, four blog posts and social media posts for the end of the next month. I also created 14 TikTok videos, which is also a success ritual. I created and launched my first workshop called How to Plan Your Dream Business in 30 Days. I wrote a new eight day long email welcome series, which I also sent to existing subscribers. I set up new content systems for creating videos, podcasts and blog posts for all content pieces. I recorded my very first podcast episode, which was an intro podcast. I rebranded my whole website focusing on manifestation for business as my new niche. I found a lot of new testers for my dream business blueprint course. And here are some of the mindset breakthroughs that I had this month. I made a new commitment to a new content plan to publish two content pieces every week until I have completed 100 content pieces. At that point, I will probably drop down to creating one content piece per week. And I felt very committed to helping my audience and showing up for them regularly. My contents grew as I feel like I'm now able to communicate and express my new niche on my website and through my content. And I learned how to improve my ability to tell stories. So now let's move on to the gratitude goal update. So please note, I am only reporting revenue for my Kath Kyle brand. My other businesses generate a lot of passive income 
which is what I use to pay for my online business tools, which I share across all of my businesses. For my new brand, I want to start reporting from the very first month that I made any money to take you on my journey from making nothing to growing in the future. I created just one income report focusing on one month of revenue from my health blog and that also shows you all of the expenses that I pay for across all of my businesses. So if you want an idea of my expenses, you can have a look at that. But I'm not going to focus on income and expenses for this one business alone because it would be in minus figures if I did that. And that's not accurate because I generate income from my other businesses. So I can use my previous revenue to support this new business. So that is the advantage of having more than one successful business. And if you want to see that income report for my health blog, you can click the link surrounding this content and see it in there. And here is my income that I made this month in my Kath Kyle brand, bearing in mind that this is my very first month that I have ever made any money in my kathkyle.com business. I made a total of $46 in my first month in business. I sold two of my brilliant business brain stamps audio packages and I finally have the evidence that I made sales so everything is working. I am finally in business. It is a sign that I'm heading in the right direction. If I can sell one of my products, I can sell a thousand of them and I am over the moon about it. So let's move on to the giving goal update. My main giving goal was to create a workshop and promote my new course and also create a free lesson for my new course. And I achieved both of these main goals and a whole lot more. I achieved an amazing amount this month and I'm really pleased with my progress. All of my sales triggers are now complete. So I've got my funnel for the Dream Business Blueprint course fully set up and working well on all of autopilot. Here is my growing goals update. This month, I really felt like I'd stepped into a more successful version of myself because I feel validated that the way in which I want to help people is also the way that they want to be helped. I feel very confident that business success is already mine and I have everything I need to be successful. Earning a revenue or earning the first revenue does wonders for your confidence levels. After working on something and not making any money and having failed launches to finally make some money is a massive, massive achievement and it definitely boosts your confidence sky high. That's why it's good to set manageable goals to start with just to make one sale should be your very first goal if you've never made a sale before. So now let's move on to success signs. Success signs are things that worked well, things that enabled you to reach your goals, things that you enjoyed working on, and also things that you experimented with, even if you haven't seen any results from them yet. So you can't really say that just because you did a task and you didn't get any results from it, that that was a failure. I actually see that as a success sign because one, you took action, and two, you don't know what's going to happen in the future as a result of you doing that work. At the very least, you've learned something. You might have learned never to do that thing again, but it is a learning experience and never a failure. And that's why I put these, anything that I try, I put them in a success sign. So this month, my success signs were making a decision to commit to my business, to my audience and to my content plan. And it made me feel very serious about my business this month. Other success signs were setting up new systems for my content in Asana, which really helped me to feel organized and productive. And now I'm just going to break down what I believe helped me to manifest my first sale. So this is something that you can implement yourself and it is something that I definitely need to implement more of so that I can also get more sales. And this is why I do these reports because it helps to 
share the knowledge with you and also remind me what worked well so I can keep doing what worked. So this is what I did to manifest my first sale. I tested my own sales system by setting the price to $1 for my brilliant business brain stamps audio package and then I bought the product myself. I then checked my email notifications and I had an email congratulating me for getting a new sale and that is the first time I've ever seen one of these email notifications from my platform that I used Thinkific. So what I did is I some, something went off in my brain and I thought this is how it's going to feel when you see this in your inbox after you've had sales because I just moved over to a new platform so I wasn't used to seeing notifications from Thinkific so it's, it was all new to me. So what I did was I focused on visualizing more of these sales notifications coming through and then I felt the feeling of being grateful for this sale and all of the sales to come and I felt excited about receiving these sales notifications. And guess what happened? The very next day I got my first sale and then I also felt grateful again. And then two days after that I got my second sale. So I feel like this was directly responsible for me manifesting these first sales. I'm not sure if I used the technique the second time, maybe I didn't and maybe that's why I didn't get any more sales. Who knows but that seemed to me to be a very strong indicator that that technique worked like magic. What else worked? My affirmation videos are going viral on TikTok so I need to do more of those. And what did I try that maybe didn't work? My business and my goal related topics don't seem to be as popular on TikTok as my manif manifestation content just now. And I feel like TikTok has been showing my videos to help people who are interested in manifestation but not necessarily entrepreneurs. However, I had two requests for coaching from people on TikTok this month. So I must be reaching entrepreneurs somehow. However, I'm not offering coaching at the moment as I'm focusing on building up my business before I consider that. So I consider that a success that I found out maybe what isn't working at the moment on TikTok or maybe it's something to consider that maybe I should post less business topics and more manifestation topics on TikTok because I do still want to reach entrepreneurs and show people that I have business related content. So let's move on to the next section, success blockers. So these are things that blocks success. So what blocked success for me this month in my opinion? Although I created long form content this month and I did it for next month, I didn't actually publish any long form content at all. So not having any podcasts and not having very many YouTube videos doesn't send signals that I am in business for the long term. It sends a signal that I'm new to business and that who knows, I might give up. Who knows what people think? I know what I think when I see a podcast that's got five episodes or one episode. I think I'm not subscribing to it. So having more content to me is a success sign. So the fact that I've got less content is a success blocker at the moment. And the only thing that will improve this is time and putting out new long form content consistently. And another thing that blocked my success was that I did not actively engage with any new people this month as I was so busy behind the scenes of my business. Number seven, my feelings about this month. This month, I was in such a good place with my feelings. I felt so confident and happy with my progress. I was on such a high for making my very first sale, so nothing could bring me down this month. And I've reached so many manifestation milestones this month and I'm so grateful for all of them. Number eight, improvements. What did I improve or what do I need to improve? I am improving my content plan. So instead of creating videos and blog posts that are not related to each other, like when I feel like it basically, I am committing to creating one piece of content and turning that into a blog post, a video and a podcast. 
and I will put out two of these content pieces per week. Number nine, time savers. What have I done to save myself time in the long term? And bearing in mind that saving time in the long term often means that you put more time into something in the short term, but that is the case with anything worth achieving in life. I have set up systems on Asana and asked my assistant to help with the image creation, editing, formatting, publishing and scheduling of all of my new content. And number 10, commitments. And I have already shared that I am committing to two content pieces per week until I reach 100 content pieces, which does actually scare me a little bit because I am somebody who I am very self-motivated and I don't like to be held accountable too much by the public because I'm very good at holding myself accountable. So I like to write down my own goals and not necessarily share them with anybody. So the fact that I'm sharing all of these commitments and goals with you here does make me feel a little bit scared, but that is something that I am willing to push through because I know that it's going to benefit me and it also benefits you. So that is what I'm here for, is to help you in the process. So I don't mind feeling a little bit uncomfortable right now. So now that you have seen how valuable it is to do a monthly reflection to keep yourself accountable and resolve any negative thinking that you have around your business, you might be wondering how you can start doing your own monthly reflection sessions. And I have created a stamp reflection workbook for business growth to help you work through all of these questions yourself. And this stamp reflection workbook is available as part of the free stamp book bonus bundle for those who purchase my stamp goals book. And the reason I added it to the book bonus bundle is because I explain how to do these reflection sessions in my stamp goals book. And I also have a shorter weekly reflection session as part of the stamp workbook, which is also one of the free bonuses you get when you buy the book. And in my book, I show you where you've been going wrong with goal setting, how to transform your business by setting the right type of goals, how to make sure you achieve your goals every time, how to make a plan for achieving your new goals that will lead you to success and how to make goal achievement a habit. And if you want to get hold of my book, you can either click the link surrounding this content or you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash stamp goals. And in my next content piece, I am going to be explaining exactly how to set gratitude goals, which are revenue goals in your business. And there's actually a lot more that goes into this than meets the eye. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle so you don't miss that. And while you're waiting for your copy of Stamp Goals book to arrive, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Watch my free business goal setting workshop for fast results, where I show you exactly how to set three essential goals that will get you more results within one month. Boost your confidence, feel like a winner and attract more success to you by achieving your goals every time. This free workshop and associated workbook is part of my book bonus bundle for stamp goals and I'm only making this workshop and workbook free for a limited time so grab that while it's still available and you can grab that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash goals workshop and you are going to be so glad that you did. Now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.